Bunga has been translated as the dreaming. It's extremely important and extremely difficult on one level. Because in reality of Bunga Ragara, all this is a dream. It's not real. It came from Bunga Ragara. Whole Australia created from Bunga Ragara. Aboriginal law and culture is the only real thing that happens in this country. Everything else is just art of physical entertainment. So what happened? How does this come to pass? You know, this culture, this law, this beautiful world we live in today. How the Bukharakara, if you try to imagine the concept of Bukharakara, maybe you get some feeling of an infinite emptiness, which has all the potentials from within to create life. So here comes the Rai being. The old people call them the Nazi being. They come out of Bukharakara. They come in this space, because now we're going to get space and time, because it's separation from Bukharakara to take human form. He don't come from Africa, he didn't travel all now, he come out of, right here, out of this reality. You might not see it, but the Rai world, the Bukharagara world, he come out of that. He take form. When he take form, simultaneously he caught within himself all the forms and shapes, all the phenomena of nature. So the process starts. But it has to make sound. We need sound. We only got hands to make sound. It creates a vibration, a platform. Then he needs song. Then he co-creates, repeats, and the manifestation takes place. That's the beginning of the song cycles or song lines crisscrossing this whole continent. That's a big thing. Now those first Nazi people here start the dreaming, go on the journey. But he's going to die. He's not perfect, you know. It's 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 he learning too. And he's going to need water. But when he has come to that place where there's supposed to be water, there's no water. There's a big rock. So something went wrong in his so he's becoming more and more human. He has to break that rock. He creates that water. So the first people he die, he become rye and little trees. Now, that rye start living in the country and will later take, not all of them, later take a body again, becomes a human. Because those rice, as the old people told us, cannot go back to original as they came from. So they stay in this country. So why becomes extremely important. When a why take becomes a human, let's say today there is uh, language uh, boundaries names of Numbal and Jabba Jabba, but before it was without those boundaries, then that why he belonged to that country. So when a try take a human form, something important happens. That new human, first of all, gets smell. And that smell is recognized by the country it comes out of. The other Rai, the Yungru, all the other important entities in that country know this person. The person might not know itself yet, right? It's still a baby, it's still growing up. But within it, already caught all that knowledge. County knows it, and then the person knows the country. Because the person and the country are identical. There's not, not the person and the country. It's all interdependent one picture. That's the aboriginality. That's extremely important. So the creative process starts from the beginning, the co-creative process. 
That's why for its culture, you need the country because that is the people. There's no difference. Yeah? Now imagine floating around in the infinite, no time and space, infinitum, and the longing to be this physical entity in this beautiful world we live in. That's like a gift. But you have a responsibility to look after it, to teach the children, to make sure the great respect for the law. That's the biggest thing in this country. You can't play around with it. A law person, it doesn't matter where you go on the planet, if a wrong thing comes out of his mouth, boom. It's Leon get him. It's feeling. And when people don't belong to a particular country, he go down there, he can't go down there. Because the county don't know them. They don't know the water places, the Jilas, the Umbans, the Bilaras. So they need somebody to take them in. And they don't know the human rules. So normally people do not go to somebody else's country. Not the less relation or marriage or criminal. So Liam we're talking about. Yeah? We can translate it as intuition. It's here. But it's much more than intuition. We all got it, <coughs> you know. Traveling in a town, city, bush, whatever, filled this way, filled with people, you know, like we all got it. But intuition is mainly the one you, you pick up. You don't relate to intuition as something you send out. Leon, it both ways. That's where life is. Life is here. It maintains here, but life is here. That's Leon. Uh, when your lean opens up proper, you don't feel separation no more. You are pretty well connected to everything. You're walking through the bush, you can feel. Situations you pick up. Yeah? On the other level, if you want to travel, you send them out from here. Yeah? Your body can stay behind and you're traveling. That's all in that area. Yeah, that's important. You, you, can, you can learn about names of trees and, you know, all that stuff. But if you don't do it with feeling, you get the direct. Feeling first. You get feeling and then the mind might go, oh, yeah? Yeah, you get the direct connection. You know where to go, you don't worry. Uh, it's very important. Now, like rye, that rye, and rye is everywhere. Some live in certain places, so call them a rye who might want to get a body again. Or they might not want to get a body again. No matter animal, bird, snake, or human. Yeah? Some might not. Some might think, well, I don't want to be <laughs> human this time around. You know what I mean? But how we, uh, how that rye is gets your attention. So Liam. That's how you communicate. So let's say, if this wife want to be born, there's men and woman, young men and woman there, he might, he might send maybe the woman a dream, you know, to go somewhere. Or the man. The man gets a dream, he wake up in the morning and go, oh, I should go here, there's some moon on there, or I can get good fish there, or, yeah. So when he get down there, that way, he travel with him. And he can bring him luck. Now he get big, you know? That's why I do it for him. He show him. Well, then he come home, that's it. Then the conception takes place and the child is born. And that child belongs to that country. Not because the blood of the parents. Because of the why come first. Not the human. We here for a split second and we're gone again. That why keeps on going. Now that old man, he was a young man then, Lulu, one of my teachers. He was one of those people who came from a long line of people who held the law, you know? And when he 
well, on one level, on the physical level, he fell in love with a woman, wasn't his woman. He stole that one and he ran away. He had to pay for it later by blood, but that's in the morning he ran away. So where he ran? He's on Roebuck Plain, about 40 kilometers if you hit the Ritz and you come out north of Nunaguruk on Wilkenmeer. He ran there, so he come to the homestead. There were about 30, 40 people living in those days. Most of the children were taken away. Then he went to Bart Creek, Vera, Wara, most, maybe 30, 40 people too. And there was a handful of people still living in Wonganada, in the fresh water country. All the young people basically taken away. So on one level he come here because of the woman he come here. But if you look at the Bugaragara story, and for me this is a today's Bugaragara story, uh, dealing with the two realities, your culture and your Western world, what is extremely difficult, and it's easy to get tempted in the Western world, and then mix that up with your culture, that's not good for anybody. So, when he got there, the old people must have looked at him. He's a young man, and they looked right through him. Because they're not little people. They're men, people of high degree. They're clear. They can see everything. And they must have seen that young man, okay, here's a proper man. We can entrust them. We'll be happy he and his woman is here. So there'll be a future for our law and culture. My name's Philip Rowe. I'm Paddy's grandson. Uh, this year, 2017, was a year of error for us. My grandfather has protected this country for nearly over 25 to 30 years. This country was handed to him to look after, for each and every one of us to share. Lolo was a Nigana man. He was born in Sheep Station, Robert Plains. And he came here when he was 30. He ran away with my grandmother, which was the wrong way married. Then he, he came to these old people here. They taught him and things about this country. So he stayed and he worked on the station and things. Then he came back here, helped his old people look after them. All his life, I've only knew him for the last 40 years, but all his life, the whole being had one purpose, to maintain the culture, to maintain the law, to teach people. And in those days, in the 50s, 60s, it was very poor here. A lot of people didn't want to be Aboriginal. Because you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, so they rather become the other part of themselves. Yeah? And he would always ask, I remember when early days, always, come on, you know, bring, start the law, come on, bring, very skinny. So all his life he worked extremely hard for that, to maintain it, to Turn the wheel to keep it going. My name is Jimmy Wobby. I'm Yegana. In my uncle. My, my father, cousin, brother. Yeah, yeah, Yegana. Even all around, right up to Udiella. Uh, Haven't made himself die here, Udiella. My dad and his uncle now, they had his family. Did I, I keep them this and now, and family blessed for the hunters and raw. He will stop for good here now, he will get married to uh, 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 granny. He mm. will marry to granny now, uh, his wife. Even Sabia, 
and even born to look Krishna. Two daughters even have my uncle, and his two daughters, that's all. All men, uncle been all of this law in the, what name, in the room. He's a law man. Even all of them that law. People need a lot of education to law and culture to have some. That's why law is so important. It's extremely important. So that all men, as he said, he ran away from a woman. But in the big picture, in the book Arakara Dreaming, somebody was needed here at that time. Colonization time when the children were taken away. and uh, Somebody was needed here. Now, who pulled him here? You can say, well, stealing the woman, <laughs> you know, is the motivation. But I think something bigger was coming on. If you look at all your Dreamtime stories, your Bukharagara stories, it seems it's always trying to maintain the proper law and culture. It tries to maintain that, to look after the country, look after the future generations. And that's why he came here. That big Bugarakara story. And look what happened. We get the clash between two cultures. The Western culture. And we're all pretty happy, otherwise we couldn't be filming this. <laughs> you know, that's one part of it. And then Aboriginal culture. Now, how can they work together? Some ways can, but not when you start to destroy the country. So if we go back to the beginning of colonization in this area, that were then the parents of Lulu, right? They were the first people who their world was going to change. The first change. He was the man for the second change. Yeah? They couldn't carry on in this world. He was for the second change. And it was a really difficult one. Because now we had to deal with that yeah? making a living can't be all the way in his natural lifestyle no more, mixing it up. Then he has to learn the language. He never wrote all right, but learning the Ovid or it, learn the language, and somehow to find a way to maintain looking after this country. How? He was a clever man. He could see a long way ahead. You know, he's thinking too, or oh, What's going to happen in the future here? Yeah, there was no television those days, and he wouldn't watch it anyhow, but, you know. But in his mind, you know, he's not a little person, he can see pictures. No. So he thought, well, if I can teach non-European, you know, Europe, uh, non-European, non-Aboriginal people, maybe to get understanding, and to be beneficial for looking, helping together, looking after country. So that's when the trail started, the Lurinjari trail. I wasn't, he wasn't thinking, who oh, can I make money? He always thinking, how can this culture, how this, can this country be protected and stay the way? How can we teach people? So everybody coming through. Beautiful. I've never seen a man so happy when he saw that his dream was realized. You know, he's down there, everybody's sitting there in the country. When he established the trail, the old grandfather, I was one of the first ones that helped him. He made the trail for reconciliation with, for everyone to share and to learn our, our culture and things. Next year would be the 30th anniversary of the trail. He was made the Order of Australia. Well, there's so much stories in this country and each, each place has a name and each place has a story. And we do that when we do it on the trail. Endings, even when the young fellows walk on the trail endings. They stop at certain places and let them know the story of the country.
and where they sit and where they are. So we put in native title for the whole country because he's been holding the law and culture for the whole country. And you can say, well, what is Kula Rabalu? Well, Kula Rabalu has been here nearly from the beginning when language was spoken. Eh? Kula, West, Bulu, spiritual country, Kula Rabalu, West Coast, salt water, sundown, law and culture. You know, you can have that basically spread out from one iron point to Pichadenka. That follows that entire song cycle system. Uh, so there was always a people, Kulara Balu, who hold the law and culture. Now, today blood comes in. Blood can be important on a certain level. But in my understanding, why is much more important? Blood can die out. And then what happens? And it's always been happening when there is not, when you don't have all your own people to start ceremony, you get people from somewhere else. You're all working together because the main aim is to keep your culture going. Not so much, so, you know. And you have people with blood who might not have the culture. But that why, he come that person, so automatically, in my understanding, he belongs to that country. It's a bit of a transference of blood through a rye to another person. Only it's not a transference of blood, it's a transference of consciousness, of understanding, of country, knowledge. Uh, yeah. So after the first native title was put in, it was cooler blue, then it was cut in two bits. Yarrow put the native title in, and then Yaro, Jukun and Kula Blue came together and put the Wubibi native title in. And outcome was there was two traditions of law. A southern tradition and a northern tradition. The Kula Rabalu people always maintained the northern tradition. It's born in Bari country, it exists in Karajai country. But everybody has responsibility for the entire. We were all equal at that time. But after the gas plant, when the gas plant went ahead and things, was going to go ahead, it really and truly divided us. We was all one race in the town. I really and truly blame one organisation. Today, the law of the white man it's on paper, but you go back to our race of people, they didn't have paper. It was given to them. And he was the last old fellow that learned of the old man, Walmadan. That's where we are today, at Walmadan. And he buried Walmadan on top of that hill. Because the old grandfather he fought with, with carrots and he had the backing of the old people from Bard country and also from Gragery country that fought and won mineral sands here at Walmadan. That sand now, ma'am, that more the same? Yeah, yeah. That's the one Lullivan fight for. Uh, yeah. And Warden caught with them old people from yeah. Jaringen. Yeah. And Gradgery. Yeah. From Yago and things. Yeah. That's what they've been even win that. Yeah. They've been win for that that thing. Yeah. Well that's the same thing they're gonna do. What yeah. they're gonna do them now. And yeah, we've been talking about this one now. Yeah. This play. All right. And and I've been talking on T V now. I've been talking. Now guys, I've been saying. and see what's going on today in things in 2017, it's, you know, it just makes my old grandfather, he's left out. And look, you know, he created all that, he pulled that law right through. 
And if we had done that, if that hadn't happened, and the cooler blue people, this today mob had no law. Law would have disappeared altogether from before colonization, colonization today. Would have gone. He and his family, and they pulled it right through. And then the Rye connection is solid too. So that there are two things. The anthropologist in the native title in the court made a mess about Rye. A political mess. Some said, oh, only the little place. It got nothing to do with it. That why belongs to that country. When that come in you, ah, you get insight. Your feeling wakes up. And I have great respect for the law and culture. That's the biggest thing. That's solid. You don't play politics with it and you don't suck it on Facebook and be funny propaganda. Wrong. Now what happened about half a year ago or so that Yarrow, what's the native title body, Holden, said that Kuro Blue couldn't have law within Yarrow country. But they forget that is the northern and southern tradition. So they cannot stop the northern tradition here. It's a political move. Unfortunately, land councils are could be great and could be very unhealthy institutions, yeah, where culture becomes a tool to do things away from culture. They had law bosses from one arm point saying that we can't practice our law anymore in the Broome area. And what they're forgetting, they've given the right for my grandfather to practice that law and to have that law in things in Broome. Now you got young fellas, they're the same hypocrites that who's signing a piece of paper and saying that we can't practice that barred law and things because I've got initiated through barred law in Willie Creek. That's that all signed and they just made bosses they just had meeting and things, they just made all the young fellas bosses with jabba jabba. And they don't know where any law grounds or anything what's there. But I don't know how they got bosses for that country. All people have been all on this law in the room. This time, young people running, not, not right. I came here in this room. All people gone. All people been running this room, law. All one name, with Joshua, and all my uncle, they have been running this law. This time, or young people run them law. Not right. You just had one just recently in Broome. Yarrow had to give, gave them fifty thousand dollars. They just had to buy people to come and do this law for them which is wrong. You're paying people to do your, to do law. It's not right. If you want to practice your own law, you've got to know your law. It's not paying someone to come and do it for you. It's just like the church. You, when they walk around with the plate, you put money into the plate to give to the Pope and the Bishop and things. It's the same thing what's happening today. They're selling their law. They're stealing. They're making people sign and things who doesn't know how to read and write. 
this to make them agree in things. While well, their pockets getting full, the other guys are, they just nothing. Then they can get in there and rape their land. Native Titleist is very, very sorry act and things. If it was sovereignty, yeah, we might have a chance. But this act, native title, doesn't mean anything. You still got to negotiate. It's hard. It's a hard process. Take it this land, you can, you might as well kiss this place goodbye. Because you'll have our, you'll have buildings here. Like, we'll go back when Woodside and them was here with the Barnett government and things. Well, we got the camp and things right through here. And things, this would be an old bulldozer. This would be in flattened. And you'd have a stinking ugly gas plant sitting on top of you. That's why I say my grandfather fought for all these years for nothing. And he's got rolled in his grave. Try to look after and protect country, but it's just greed. And he said to us, you know, I'll be dead and gone soon. You guys turn to stand up and fight, which we did. Myself, Joe, that's my younger brother, and the rest of the family. I've camped at you for five years, and hard. We have followed his legacy. He taught us the right way. Always law and culture. The most important thing, honestly. We don't need spaceships, we don't need other. We need our own being. Our own natural minds. Eh? That's all we need. And when we have culture going with it, we have life, family, everything else. What a joy. It will come back again. I mean, what is time? <laughs> you know, everything changes again. And one day, and maybe if the best of both worlds could come together, but you have to leave a lot of country. <laughs> you know, you can't, can't go on like we're doing now. Not unless you put all the humans in anthills and then leave the bush all free for learning more. The whole idea has become schooled more in relationship to country. Yeah, all on this place. There are bosses. They stand here. These are angles and all around here, all over the place. Angle by idea. <coughs> but the angle by idea, grandfather, long time, they're going to stop here. They're going to leave this place. They're going to move anyway. You know, so look, native title should be chucked out. It should be a whole different system. Where is it good for? Only for the professionals. Yeah? They're the people who make the money. It's a whole industry. And don't worry about, you know, those locals there. Just wipe out 500 people cultural, you know, the color of blue. Just bucket them off, just chuck them, chuck them in the ocean. What kind of mentality is that? I mean, and we go back to Sol O Moon, Sol O Moon, yeah, sun and moon in the Bible, and the mother and the baby, we've got the same thing here happening. No, we can't cut the baby in half, we can't cut this country in half. That's to stay alive for future generations, for everybody. They are sad. I don't agree with the judge. 
I think he should rethink himself over New Year and make sure that uh, Kula Balu, Numal and Jabba Jabba come together and sort it out. Thank you.